Is being sexually attracted to someone that you're going to marry even important or is it merely superficial? Is it something that we should be looking for in a potential spouse or is it something that we should disregard as worldly? These are important questions that people are asking and it dovetails into another epidemic that I've seen going on and it's highlighted in this video that we'll watch. We have entered the part of civilization and society where individuals are now referring to Margot Robbie as definitely mid. Thank you to Nicholas Varola for uh, that comment. This tweet currently has 37.6 million views. There's a few other tweets out there too. She is a hard seven. You used to find a Margot Robbie in every blockbuster video in 1995. Off the record, funny tweet. I'll, I'll give that guy some credit. Another tweet referred to Margot Robbie as a natural mid. I guess she's playing the midfield with Kevin De Bruyne next season or something. I don't know. Here's another tweet where they are describing Margot Robbie as a person that has a suburban trailer park flair. Now, here's the thing, guys. You know what this is the result of? Corn addiction. And I also say Instagram model addiction. If you don't look like you have 3 million Instagram followers, then you're mid. Stop watching corn. Go touch some grass, unfollow the Instagram models, and find God. No truer words were ever spoken. Get off Instagram. Stop following Instagram models. Stop watching pornography. Like, seriously, guys, it's distorting the way that we see the opposite sex and what we find attractive. Um, I think a lot of the emphasis on, hey, don't value attraction as much in the church is due to the fact that people have unrealistic expectations and they have this distorted sexuality that they're bringing to the table where before it would be like obviously you need to be attracted to the person right obviously like you you want to be sexually attracted to the person that you're going to marry that's not wrong that's how god designed us he designed us to be sexually attracted to the opposite gender and uh, you want to find somebody that that applies to right you don't want to find somebody that you're like yeah they're ugly i don't want to look at their face like you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person so obviously right but then you bring in um instagram models you bring in um pornography and you're constantly like uh, confronted with these people that aren't real like it's it's not real it's staged it's photoshopped it's face tuned it's bodies that have been starved it's just it's not reality and when guys especially guys i'm going to target guys here because this is a real issue when guys only interact with women online like they're only seeing women online in these fake versions of them then they they don't find regular women, real women, attractive because they've trained their mind to only see this one type of woman, this one, um, you know, archetype as attractive. And that's really, really sad because women don't look like that. And that's not that's not like a real thing. It's like being attracted to a robot, you know, and, and how, how sad is that? And so I think what we need to do, how do we how do we fix this is the question. How do we fix this? Because the real problem is Number one, we need to detox our sexuality. We need to detox all these different um, inputs that we're getting from different places, whether that be movies, whether that's following people on Instagram. If you're watching pornography, if you're watching that stuff, you got to stop. The Bible says that when we indulge in these fleshly desires, it, they're actually waging war on our souls. Like, just imagine that, the war that's going on within. We're allowing um, our soul to be penetrated by this fleshly and evil and worldliness that just and sinfulness is coming in when we should be like, okay, hey, I'm going to put up this boundary. I'm not even going to let, let my mind dwell on this stuff. So we need to cut it off, cut it off every single place. And then what do we do? Well, as you're detoxing from this, because that's going to be a process, but but listen to me, um, at least from guys, I'm not sure I haven't talked to any, as many girls about this, but for guys that have been maybe addicted to pornography or, you know, been heavily, you know, watching like, you know, you Instagram models and stuff like that for a long time and their perspective of attraction and what they find sexually attractive has been so manipulated and distorted. As time goes on, as they detox from that stuff that isn't real, um, their their attraction level goes back to normal in a lot of ways. Like they, they find, okay, now they find normal women, like real women attractive again, because that's how God created us. Like that's okay. So don't worry. It's not, not all is lost um, for men or for women. Not all is lost. But in the meantime, this is just my word of advice for you because... Um, 
number one, like, don't listen to those people that say attraction isn't important because it is important. It is like, uh, in to, to me, a couple things that are non-starters are like, are they a Christian? No. Okay. Th- that's just not going to happen. And if you're not attracted to them, like, no. And I realize there are some folks that say, hey, um, as time goes on, you might grow an attraction towards them. And then, you know, that, so just give it some time. And if that's the case, like, great. But don't pursue them. Like as a man, if you're pursuing a woman, don't pursue a woman if you're not attracted to her. Just don't do it. It's okay to be in the friend space, the friend zone. That's the new one. The, the, new, the new zone is called the friend space. That's my, my trademark thing. Don't be in the friend zone. Like you can be in the friend zone if you're not attracted to them. Yeah, if something develops and then you're attracted to them and you know all the other things line up, then it's like, okay, great, pursue them. But if you're not, don't do that because you're leading them on, right? So don't, don't mess with that. But attraction is important. But what I'm saying is, is that in this in-between space is you need to be honest about (laughs) your level of attractiveness. I'm serious. Like if you are constantly only satisfied and will only be satisfied if you get, you know, somebody that the general culture would say is a 10 out of 10 and you're like a, these are hard, hard words here, guys. If you're like a six or you're like a seven. Right. And it can happen. It can happen. Absolutely. You know, shoot for the moon. You land among the stars. But um, like, <laughs> you know, at the same time, uh, be honest with your level of attraction, too. And and be content. Like, come on, guys. This is to me. Attraction in so many ways is binary. You're either attracted to them or you're not attracted to them. So much of the world operates on the scale of like sevens, eights, nines, tens, fives, fours. Like, but that's really not how it, in my opinion, at least from a guy's perspective, um, it works. It's just like you're attracted to them or you're not attracted to them. And that's pretty much it. And so I wouldn't undervalue the importance of that uh, because sexuality is such a core element to who we are and how God created us. And and you should you shouldn't be ashamed of that, right? You shouldn't feel like, oh well, I- I'm not attracted to this person sexually, but you know, sexuality is kind of dirty anyway, and sex is kind of bad, and so it doesn't really matter anyway. And it's like, no, 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 no. That's part of how God created you. So don't don't devalue an aspect of God's design, right? And so I'm I'm praying for you guys. I hope you detach and unplug from all that stuff that's distorting your perspective, and uh, and just plug into real life. Have real friends, know real women, real men with real bodies, as opposed to these, you know, just robots online. These fake images that are just training your mind to just be so warped and screwed up get out of the matrix, you know, pour into reality. I hope you guys got something from this video. If you did subscribe because I'm putting out new videos all the time, a huge shout out to everyone on Patreon that supports my mission of equipping people to follow Jesus daily. I love making content for you guys on YouTube here on Instagram, on TikTok, and your support goes into me being able to make that and it is such a blessing. So if you want to support my mission, click the link in my description and sign up today, get access to all sorts of exclusive rewards. I'd love to see you on there until next time. God bless.